Statins, also known as HMG CoA reductase inhibitors, are a group of drugs which are widely used in the treatment of cardiovascular disease. They are most effective in reducing LDL cholesterol by several mechanisms. There are naturally occurring statins and synthetic statins. Natural ones are provastatin, simvastatin, and lovastatin. Synthetic ones are adervastatin and fluvastatin. The actions of adervastatin and fluvastatin are long-lasting compared to others. First let's discuss about the mechanism of action of statins. The pharmacological effects of statins are due to reversible inhibition of HMG-CoA reductase enzyme by the drug. To see what this is, first let's recall our knowledge on the cholesterol synthesis pathway. Now, we know that cholesterol synthesis takes place within the liver. At first, two acetyl-CoA molecules combine together to form acetoacetyl-CoA. Then this acetoacetyl-CoA molecule binds with another acetyl-CoA molecule to form HMG-CoA. Then this HMG-CoA is converted to mevalinate by the enzyme HMG-CoA reductase. This is the rate-limiting step of cholesterol synthesis pathway. Ultimately, mevalinate is converted to cholesterol after several steps. What statins do is they reversibly inhibit the rate-limiting enzyme, HMG-CoA reductase. By doing this, they reduce the synthesis of cholesterol within the liver. Not only that, reduction of cholesterol synthesis will activate a molecule called sterol regulatory element binding protein, or SREBP, which diffuses into the hepatocyte nucleus and induce gene transcription to synthesize more LDL receptors. Increased LDL receptor expression will increase the uptake of LDL from the blood, which in turn will cause reduction in blood LDL cholesterol level. So, statins will reduce blood LDL cholesterol by about 25 to 55 percent, increase blood HDL cholesterol by about 5 percent, and reduce triglycerides by about 10 to 35 percent. They also have what are called pleiotropic effects. These are some effects of drugs which can be either beneficial or harmful and are not related to its main pharmacological action. The mechanism of these effects are somewhat complicated and related to the intermediate products of the mevalinate pathway. Luckily for statins, there are many beneficial pleiotropic effects. Some of these effects of statins are improve endothelial function, reduce vascular inflammation, reduce platelet aggregability, increase neovascularization of ischemic tissue, increase circulating endothelial progenitor cells, stabilization of atherosclerotic plaques, antithrombotic action, enhance vibrinolysis, and protection against sepsis. But, they inhibit germ cell migration during development. Therefore, statins are contraindicated during pregnancy because it can cause impaired fetal development. As we have discussed earlier, statins are almost exclusively given in the treatment of cardiovascular disease. They are commonly used in primary prevention of arterial disease especially indicated for patients with diabetes and renal failure with elevated serum LDL cholesterol. And they are also used in the secondary or long-term management of myocardial infarction and stroke. Indicated in angina, transient ischemic attacks, and following myocardial infarction and stroke. At this instance, statins are given along with other anticoagulants like aspirin and clopidogrel. Statins are also given in the treatment of non-cardiovascular diseases like Alzheimer's disease and prostate cancer. Statins are taken perorally. And they are taken at night because the maximum activity of HMG-CoA reductase enzyme is during nighttime. They are well absorbed in the GI tract. But has a low bioavailability. This is because the main action of statins are in the liver and they undergo extensive pre-systemic metabolism. Therefore, only a small amount of the drug reaches the systemic circulation. Once in the bloodstream, they are highly protein-bound. Statins are predominantly excreted in VCs. Therefore, they are usually indicated in renal impairment. Adverse effects of statins are less compared to other drugs. They are usually well tolerated. Mild unwanted effects include muscle pain, GI disturbances like abdominal pain and diarrhea, insomnia, and rash. Serious adverse effects are rare and may include hepatotoxicity and elevated serum ALT and AST levels. Rhabdomyolysis, especially when given along with fibrates, which are used to reduce serum triglyceride levels. And angioedema. So in summary, this is what we have discussed in this short video. Thanks for watching. See you soon in the next video.